Oh, absolutely. Just a, a bucket waiting to happen. And it will be Iowa's ball to start things out. This team trying to settle into some consistency, something they've only known the last two years. And they will start it off with on the way to the basket. No good by the freshman Kohler. And on the move is the Hawkeyes with the win here in Iowa City. Yeah, just has been a huge part of this city, this state. Caitlin Clark is the winner in their victory over Duquesne the last time out. Yeah, tough bucket for Velasco. We know this team could shoot it from the three, but aggressive early on. Clark threading the needle. Goodman couldn't quite handle it, but the possession rolls off. Tend to shoot for the Hawkeyes. Trying to reignite this possession. Nice slip, and it's Marshall who can't connect. This Iowa team, he spent eight years as an assistant under Don Staley at South Carolina. Played this team, lost to this team in last year's Final Four. As Clark gets it right back on the offensive rebound. Molly Davis wide open in the former Mac play. Clark threading the needle, and right there is a Olivia Hill. But here's this read again from Caitlin Clark. They are doubling her off of the ball screens, and she's taking her time seeing how things open up. But find those opportunities, hunt them down. Yeah, that was really interesting, and I think it's helped her teammates find more confidence. Clark and one off the curve. This game is sometimes overlooked by the logo three. She is incredibly well controlled off of the bounce, absorbing the contact. Couple minutes. Coach Shamil of Bowling Green says she's a player. You don't stop her. You try to limit Zekin with the offensive rebound, and Goodman shuts her down. Up the floor, and Zekin. And then Clark will push the other way. Clark finding Marshall. One for four as Iowa has ignited an 8 nothing run with a lot of flash to go along with it. And that was just beautiful in rhythm to promote it. And you saw the numbers there. Caitlin Clark scoring or assisting on 11 of the 14. And that feeds into what Lisa Bluter said about go and get those assists as well. Inside, Sharon Goodman. I like this move to go full court pressure because it's a smaller team. You want to use your, your speed, your explosiveness, but you have to be careful against this Iowa team to consist on six field goals made. Fleming getting into the lane, and it's picked off by a falter. And she's going to push it. Multiple orange jerseys. Does Being able to go to her bench and knowing that there's not much of a drop off once the starters come out. I was still playing for the third game without last year's Big Ten Sixth Player of the Year, Hannah Stolke, missing her third game with an injury. So still working out what that rotation looks like as Davis Falcons. It's Velasco trying to float it up. That's exactly what her game winner looked like, but off target there. Absolutely X-Freeze per game. A, a great comeback story you mentioned two seasons ago was out, and now her scoring's up from nine points a game last year to seven. To Lexi yesterday. And what a what a pleasure it was to speak with her and also Morgan Sharks as well. Ooh, O'Grady forgotten about. Gearbot now running the point, the Iowa State transfer. Next game for the Hawkeyes will be against the Cyclops in eight. Abby Marshall rethinking going along the baseline. Seven on the clock. On the floor. Possession arrow for Reeves. Just red hot to start. Nine for 13 as a team as Clark. Eyes always roving. Gets it over half court. Davis driving baseline. Kate Martin, what a move to the ring. We talked about the efficiency that Kate Martin has been playing with. Molly Davis drawing three defenders. Just a simple ball fake help doesn't come over. That efficiency continuing. Two of three from the floor for Kate. Career high for her this season. Over 10 points per game as well. As you we talked about in the open, upping her offensive play. Clark, long three. And the long rebound comes away to Iowa. She wants it back. Same spot. 
Morgan Sharp, she is a sharpshooter. Clear 43% from long range. Misses right there as Clark wants to go all the way. O'Grady will finish it off for the assist. Well balanced offense this has been the last couple of games for Iowa. 11 second difference, shot and game clock. The back door right there. Well done by mid-range Jay. She's able to knock down. And credit goes to Erica Porter for screening on that one. Assist on 12 baskets so far. Yeah, the ball movement, the unselfish play has been impressive. They average about 20 on the season. Well, they're already halfway to that number, and we've only played one quarter. Nice job of turning the corner there. An impressive freshman who I, I couldn't believe she hasn't been named a Mac Freshman of the Week, but that award doesn't exist. Gabe Martin lets it fly from three. Calling her own number. She's looking to get hot. That won't go. Molly Davis, the oh, crossover. James is Sharps. Also misfires from three back to back. Porter gets the angle. Molly Davis shaking him up here. Hesitation. Ooh, a little French pastry on the finish. <laughs> right to left. Hesitation. Mm, smooth one hand. Molly Davis. I talked to her about it the last time I was here. Her dad actually makes them for her. Taryn Goodman blocked underneath it is Marshall launching the three and that's her first miss and there is Davis under the rim to Fleming that three not there yeah coach Bluter we talked to her this morning Molly Davis was named to the all tournament team down in Florida and she said it was incredible to see the genuine love that her teammates gave her for that Clark will take it to the rim and here's Caitlin. Whew, I mean, talk about another player toying him with the ball. Just attacking, turning the corner, going left. Couple free throws there for Fleming. And Velasco has been to press Iowa. Of course, Velasco picking her up on the other side of half court, too. Clark going to take her into the paint, and that drops in front of this crowd. Have a nice friendly wave, too. She's used to being recognized with this kind of love. Kate Martin underneath, beautiful basketball. Defended the paint really well, so they found some success from deep. Caitlin Clark can't hit right there, and a falter. Iowa getting it done on the offensive glass this time. Sydney a falter, and you saw no box out there. That can't happen. Alasco flipping it up, and that won't go through. Clark loses it. Three on one, and Fleming has that knocked away or missed. Either way, the pressure was coming down on the other end. And then this is one where you just, you have to know that somebody is chasing you down. Kate Martin at six foot. That frees up Velasco, and she can't knock down a long range shot. Clark finding O'Grady, and she'll be sure. thing that's opening up, and that just comes from hours and hours of ball handling drills. It's also, of course, this fearlessness that it doesn't matter who's running out her, she's looking to accomplish a certain thing. Yeah, and Fred Shamil, coach of Bowling Green, I forget how he phrased it, but he basically said that Caitlin Clark had gotten them looks, but they just can't get them to fall consistently so far in this first half. Iowa continues to shoot above 60% up to this point in the game. 64. Jumping that pass. She is so competitive that Coach Shamil says, I even have to build her up and rein her in because she'll be too hard on the last 11. But they do not get back in a falter. Has it? Nice camera angle here. And you see Sydney Falter just beating off. Monica Sinano seeing a lot more playing time. Playing a major role too, especially on the glass as Clark finds Goodman from the free throw line. And there is a falter look hand in her face. That is well short. Again, Morgan Sharp's known for being a three-point shooter. Kylie Fierbach going all the way, but it is waved off and off by Iowa just finding scoring in different areas this afternoon. Sydney a falter has gotten a couple of O-4. She can't put it back up and through. 
Another one. Great look for Bowling Green. Just having a tough time converting here the last couple of possessions. Down to 31% shooting. Iowa 66%. That has stayed consistent. Has not dropped. McCabe surprised to find herself all Great alone. Jumper. She's making about three per game. She started to catch some fire here from deep in the first half. Second in this game to double figures behind Clark's 12. Marshall dropping it down to Goodman, and she did travel. The Falcons getting into their half-court set. And a falter says, I'll just take that. And she's fair. early on this season. She had 14 rebounds against Virginia Tech, so she knows how to put her stamp on a game when given the opportunity in the minutes. Clark, double team, quickly gets it away. Falcons sticking with the Hawkeyes here. Three to shoot for Clark. And two on one. But Kate Martin denies it. After that one, got the crowd into it a little bit. The chase down from behind. Yep, she's letting the crowd know. Impressive. That looks like an easy layup for Bowling Green. Long three. A good box out by Davis. Contributions all over the place, whether it is Martin with a couple of blocks, Davis with her scoring, a falter with her rebounding, Goodman with some easy finishes himself. Davis uses the Goodman screen. Clark won't get it off in time, so at the half, 48 32. Communicating on screens, they always seem to be in the right place to provide help. They held Bowling Green to just 30% shooting so far in this game. Coach Shamil told us there would be different looks, different schemes defensively, but this time it was those here a few weeks ago. Lisa Bluter said Kate Martin was incredibly impressive in the summer. They hadn't yet seen that happen in their games, and we've seen it in their last five games. Caitlin Clark, no good from three. There's Molly Davis. She's <laughs> pushed from behind. A couple players take like At least two of them are offensive. You'll see her getting in there. Clark, beautiful dish to Goodman. Staying in with her three personals. And Kohler going right at Clark, and she smothered. Has been really impressive, but Caitlin saying no to that one. What a beautiful dish over to Sharon Goodman. Amy Velasco has been impressive with her footwork around the rim. Little step through ability. Sharon Goodman takes her time, and in their three games in Florida, she was 13 of 16. And that is just the kind of post player you get here at Iowa under Jan Jensen. Clark, no good from three that time. And a foul gone because of 54 38. <laughs> Iowa led 6 to 5 in the first quarter. As Martin is fouled in this game. This possession is just smart basketball because Bowling Green switched the screen as Caitlin Clark runs out to the perimeter. And Iowa recognizes that because of that, Kate Martin has a seal on the inside. And Molly Davis fires it right into her. Kate Martin, outstanding, efficient. Do it all. Fleming launching a three, and that's left short. Another possession where Iowa just will not let ball handlers get by them. Goodman keeps her hands up. She's on the play. Impressive there. A little bit undersized, but sticking with it. Caitlin Clark just puts her head. She's got two today. And she has been really good just fighting her way across the lane. Going right. Showing out of, out of the locker room. Great energy. Down just 15 against a team that averages 90 a game. But we within striking distance. Clark drawing a crowd. Marshall's been quiet since the first quarter. She started out two for two from three, hasn't found her opportunity since. And that time they cut off the right-handed drive and doubled, got Caitlin Clark to give it up. And with 10 seconds on the lead for this team shooting 63%, and Caitlin Clark leading the way 16 points in this game. Yeah, we know fans love the low shooting threes. I mean, a, a score of that magnitude is getting up good attempts as Sydney Falter sneaks in there for an easy two. But I think Caitlin Light, we know her role in this system of Falter. 
with a three-point play attempt. But you also do think about that shot selection at the next level, too. Talked about her activity, her length, how she's using it on both ends. Love that hustle. Both teams getting after it on the floor. Yeah. Almost even in the second and third quarter. Bowling Green, 5 of 10 in this third quarter. And something we learned from Coach Jamil. He says this team has art. They are fearless. They have two wins this season where they were down in the final minute. They fight. No surprise to see that here at Carver Hawkeye Arena. Grady can't get it to fall one more time. And she will try to it against the Iowa Bigs. Another beautiful drive and dish from Kate Martin. But you, you can't let Addison O'Grady. There's three orange jerseys and then Addison O'Grady. You cannot let her get that rebound. And that's going to be the third on Velasco. Six points today. Four assists as well. But O'Grady, another player we talk about getting multiple contributions. Players, 43% career shooter. That's what Bowling Green needs. Yeah, Morgan Sharps had been out for about 10 months, just returning from an injury, her third game back. Sydney, a fall to high. Is 14. Look at this beautiful camera angle and just a simple backdoor cut. Fleming still maintaining that high intensity defensively and offensively. Fierbach looking for that pick and roll just out of the range of O'Grady. She finds Davis though, and a deep post up for Kate Martin will earn her a trip to the digits. You ask her teammates. And they will say the one person they can imagine being a coach when they get to that point in their lives is Kate Martin. Of course, the daughter of one grew up around her football coaching father, around those players, was in the weight room. That's what But a lot on the line for the Wolverines. A falter gets out ahead. And she I don't see too many empty seats in the building. We don't have an official tally at this very moment, but I can tell you it probably is five digits and that is the kind of crowd any program would kill for on any given day and it just so happens to be on a football championship day as well here in iowa city pretty perfect day in my opinion hawkeyes hoping both go their way taylor mccabe Dishes it off to Goodman. They lost Kate Martin. Ending response for this team winning four games after that loss. You mentioned beating Kansas State, but Kate Martin really putting a lot of people on alert. Clark gets herself into the dreaded corner, and it does not go according to range. Shocks does not fall for Hill. And Caitlin Clark now the board. Whipping it inside to Goodman, and she's going to put that immediately. Recognizes the mismatch, gets it to you. Goodman playing it off the glass after her own block. Clark, long range three. It has the volume that she shoots as well. Inside to Goodman, she has the position. Position there for Caitlin Clark, but we've got to revisit. I mean, that talk about firing a pass. Sharon Goodman has done a really nice job of establishing position. Couple games, the Virginia Tech win. It was a lot of Caitlin Clark, but now it's Caitlin Clark and company. Clark determined to finish her mentality. Clark surveying, thought about it from the logo. Continued movement there from Bowling Green and Amy Velasco. Goodman from the high post, kicking it out to Marshall. Two-player game resulting in free throws for Goodman. I, I think she could have taken a look, but we, we got to revisit this one. That was really off of one leg from Caitlin Clark. Not sure who she pointed to, but somebody was being knocked down a shot like that. Normally, you feel like that kind of finger point would be in a road environment. She loves Lisa Bluter about this for the game. Iowa is selling out a bunch of their games. on First career double-double for Sharon Goodman, and it's been that kind of depth here for the Hawkeyes, especially because after the first half, she had not scored, was 0 for 2. Clark 
hand in her face. That time doesn't go, but that allows Kate Martin to sprint to for this team. Goodman snaring another rebound already. Her first career double-double. And Iowa's gonna reset here, approaching the midway point of the fourth quarter. Game they've never trailed. Clark into traffic, and free throws coming up. Clark, she is not afraid to go up against two defenders. You see her use that length, her frame. She will not shy away from the contact. Clark no good on the first. Just one for one in this game. Falcons have done a good job keeping her away from the free throw line. And with that, she's a problem done. to deal with in the map. People maybe not expecting it, losing four or five starters. Clark loses it first action today. And Clark's got it. Jim Fee dishing it off, immediately coming from Jim Fee in her second season. Back to the Hawk cam. I'm going to call it good spacing here from Iowa. Jim Fee taking it off the bounce, and Sharon Goodman just has found incredible position. I, I just imagine a nest up there, the camera getting us a great look. Caitlin Clark, the handle. Hiding through, keeping the ball alive. It's, it's smooth, Sloan. That is smoothness. Perfect switch. Nice inside out offense for the Falcons. Jim Fee running the floor, and she gets exactly what you want to see from your point guard, because you're running baseline to baseline. And then you get the easy two. Another double-double for Clark, her fourth this season. She needs two more to go top ten. Woo! Ten history. And how about the efficient, complete game of the season? They were 20 of 33 from three. But I think this might go up there, too, even though they have two top ten victories this season, just because of the... AJ Ediger new into the game, as is Denise Johnson for the Hawkeyes. Basketball. Iowa also on the cusp of a season high shooting percentage, and that's going to help AJ Ediger. And they're right now shooting 66%. Seven of their last seven, and then they force a turnover with this backup group on the floor. Ediger at the position, can finish, sticks with it. And he's the stronger team. Inside, Jim Fee. <laughs> Iowa, eight and one this season. The final arc is not the main attraction, but this Iowa team is not the Caitlin Clark show. We are seeing so many different players start to step up in their abilities, finding confidence in each other as teammates. There were five Iowa players in double-digit scoring tonight. Kate Martin, really impressive to me as well, Sloan. 29 assists for this team that shoots 67% for the entire game. It never once regressed. And they are happy for each other. One right on through the roster, making an impact today. And that will do it from Iowa City. Today's final 99-65 Iowa over Bowling Green. For Kim Adams, I'm Sloan Martin. We'll send it back to the studio in Los Angeles with Mike Hill and Casey Jacobson.